Hi. I have just managed to celebrate my own birthday among family and old friends. It is something I think I have not done since I went living abroad almost 18 years ago. I have always tried to celebrate this occasion while abroad, but somehow it always came out a little bit somewhat different. Yes, age or maturity also matters. And I certainly don't want to celebrate my birthdays today in the same way that I did it when I was 12. Yet, the feeling has always been a little bit different. This reminded me of rituals and how important they can be in any society or culture. They suggest to us what is meaningful and valued in that context. The tradition can often sweep in like an invisible author or source of shared rituals that nobody actually agreed to follow. Rituals can include a wide range of shared practices, from shared rings, certain objects or gestures, songs, dances, and yeah, food and drinks. In any case, we all tend to celebrate major life events, such as uh, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, as well as more specific cultural and religious events, such as Christmas, Holly, Bar Mitzvahs or Baptisms, or Ramadan, or Eid, or New Year. Yet, once you start moving across borders, especially across cultural borders, it can get quite messy to keep track of your current or your new home rituals and still respect the ones you bring from your home country. I found expect weddings, that is those where the bride and groom come from different uh, countries to be among the most challenging ones. As if it were not enough to have to appease two different families, you often have to combine rituals from two different cultures, often in a third country, which ends up being something between one to three parties, celebrations, receptions, etc. And if you might not need to translate language, you will often need to translate these cultural rituals. So thinking about this topic of cross-cultural rituals, here are my tips for you this time. 